Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Today we're going to learn about GNS3 and hooking another computer like a Windows 7 machine or a Kali Linux virtual machine into the same network as two other routers. So you can see here in my Visio diagram that we've got router 1 and router 2. They're both connected to each other. We're going to give them an IP address of 1111 on one side on router 1 and dot .2 on router 2 side. Then we're going to throw a Windows 7 virtual machine and give it a dot .3 address and see if we can ping each other and, and talk to each other. So it's pretty easy. It's not too bad, but there is a order of operations. So first we have to configure VMware Workstation. And we're going to pull in VMware Workstation right here. Now I've already have my Windows 7 virtual machine running and, and that's fine. That's not a big deal. We're going to go up here to Edit and Virtual Network Editor. We're going to add in another network. Now I've already done it, but uh, what you can do is just kind of follow along. We'll, we'll pretend here. So pretty much you're not going to have Virtual Machine VMNet 9 uh, as you see on my screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to click Add a Network, click the drop down and select VMNet 9. And after you do that, you're going to see that popped in there. Now you're going to want to change a couple things. Select VMNet 9. Make sure it's selected on host only right here. We just want this talking within its own private network. We don't want it going out to the internet. And also unselect or uncheck use local DHCP. We don't want DHCP running anywhere on this because it just is going to confuse us. And later on, you might want to practice a scenario where router one is actually a DHCP server. So bad idea to have dueling DHCP servers. So click OK, and then it's going to go through a couple minutes where it's going to add in VMNet 9 into Workstation, VMware Workstation. It's also going to add a virtual network card inside of your Windows host machine. So what I mean by that is if you open up your actual Windows network and sharing center and you say you click on local area network connections, you're going to see that VMware has added a VMware network adapter, VMNet 9. All right. And also, it's a very, very good idea to reboot your machine after this, because if you immediately try to do GNS3, you're going to probably find that that interface will not show up. So if you run into problems with GNS3, just remember to reboot after you add this network. OK, so we've set We've added a VMNet 9, and that was through Edit and Virtual Network Editor. Made sure we have that in there. We've unchecked local DHCP, and we've made sure that host only is checked. Now you're going to go into the virtual machine, open up Windows 7, and you're going to set Windows 7 to use that network. It's kind of like in Cisco where you assign a computer to a VLAN or assign a port to a VLAN. This is the same way. We need to assign Windows to use that particular VLAN. So we're going to go to Windows 7 and we're going to right click on that tab and then click on settings. Go over here to network adapter and you can see it's checked on NAT, which is normally what VMware Workstation will pick for the virtual machines. But we're going to go down here to custom and then click the drop down and click on VMNet 9 to hook that into the segment there and click OK. And now another thing we need to do is we need to set the settings inside of v Workstation, inside of Windows 7. And we're going to right click on the icon, the network icon, open network and sharing center. Click on change adapter settings, double click on local area connection, click on properties, double click on IPv4. This is the same as if you're changing the IP on your regular computer. And we're going to set this to 1.1.1.3, 1113, 255.255.255. It's a slash 24. We're going to leave the gateway for now because we're not actually connecting out anywhere other than this subnet. Click OK, OK, OK. And then just set this off to the side because now we're going to configure GNS3. Yeah, I've got GNS3 open. Now what you want to do is go up here. We're going to add in the cloud. So drag in cloud. 
and the cloud is a connection to an outside interface. Right click on the cloud, click on configure, click on C1, and you're going to have this tab called NIO Ethernet. If you click the drop down, you're going to see VMNet 9. So click on that guy and then click on add. It's going to add it into this list here and then click OK. Okay, we've got our cloud hooked into VMNet 9. Now we're going to drag in our two routers. We're going to drag in a 3700 and another 3700. And we're going to drag in a hub. So let's drag in a hub right there. It can be a switch as well, not a big deal. Now if you're going to be playing around instead of dragging in, instead of attaching Windows 7, you can attach any other virtual machine that you want. If it's going to be Kali Linux and you're going to be doing some sniffing and attacking, you definitely want to make sure that you're going to pull in a hub to connect everything together. And that way your cloud is going to be able to sniff all the packets and see all the packets. Okay, we're going to click on make a link, click on manual, click on R1, connect fast00 to the hub, click on R2, fast00, connect that to the hub, click on the cloud, click on that interface, click on the hub, and your, everything is selected. Okay, uncheck the add a link. We're going to start, fire up everything. Click on that play symbol, play icon, and then click on console, connect to all devices, and both R1 and R2 are going to pop up. And let's see if I can fit everything all into one screen. There we go, that's not too bad. Okay, let's see if this thing actually worked. Go to R1, interface fast 00, IP address 1111, 255.255.255.0, no shut that guy. Go over to R2, interface fast 00, IP address 1112, and no shut. Let's see if the routers can ping each other. So if I go on R1 and ping 1112, I should get a response back. Yep, I do. And now if I ping 1113, which is the Windows 7 machine, let's see if I get anything back. Oh no, we don't get a ping, but don't panic yet. Remember that Windows 7 has got something called a firewall and the firewall is what's blocking the pings. So to change that, we just go over here to start Windows firewall. Of course, you could go over here to control panel and let's see here, we've got uh, system and security and Windows Firewall. And then you can see everything is green. We're going to click on this icon or this link right here, turn Windows Firewall on or off. So let's start a ping right here. Let's ping 1113, repeat 10,000. It's going to bomb out. Go back to Windows 7, the virtual machine. We're going to turn the firewall off. So inside of here, we're going to turn off and turn off. Click OK. As soon as I click OK, the pings go through. It's a miracle, right? We could go over here to router 2, ping 1113, and he should ping as well. Look at that. Everything pings. We can talk to each other. So here we have it. We've got router 1, router 2 connected to a hub. We've got the Windows 7 machine connected to a hub. It functions just like a normal network. Life is good.